No woman will take this late night from you. Let us fight for her, and whoever wins keeps her. Yeah. Fight me. What happened? Did I raise you to be with me? You're here. Pining away for a woman who doesn't want you. Hey guys, it's the Delphinator here, and this is Review Quickie. Let's talk about Okafor's Law. Everyone knows I've been rooting for this movie. It even made my top five Nollywood movies to anticipate list. Plus, it screened at Toronto International Film Festival, TIFF, alongside movies like The Arbitration and 93 Days. Also, given all the drama and controversy surrounding the movie, it has been primed for box office records. Although I was not as impressed as I thought I would be, I enjoyed many a cackle while watching this. So if what you really want is a good laugh, say no more. Okafor's Law is the movie for you. Okafor's Law is a rom-com about a zealous player named Terminator. Really, nigga? Played by Blossom Chukujeku, who strongly believes in the law, which states that if you shag a woman, you can shag her again. His friends call his bluff and challenge him to a bet to prove the law. His friends are played by Gabriela Folayo and Ken Eriks Ugo. So, placing a bet to get a girl is kind already played out in the rom-com world so I was expecting some great twists or surprises but we didn't quite get any of those instead we got some great dialogue which I loved but the whole plus casting on the other hand was good in number of great hits like Blossom Chukujeku, Gabriel Afolayo who was the brightest spot for me in this movie with his improv skills and all Tina Umba and of course RMD gold performances however there was one huge miss toying Abraham's cast as a PR exec, she was not believable in my opinion. It was pretty obvious she was out of her comfort zone and it showed any of the other two members of the Fantastic Four who weren't in the movie would have been a great choice for that role. I'm talking about Choma Akotha or Uche Jumbo. Now on to other things. The set design and cinematography were ace. Some great camera angles spotted. What do you expect when you have big names like Pat Nabo and Yinka Edwards on a project? Brilliant job. Okay, so my biggest gripe with this movie was the audio. The use of ADR was not seamless at all. There were distortions here and there. I just wonder how this happened and why they put out the movie that way. It gives the impression that post-production was rushed. Another thing to note is the blatant product placement in this movie. Now wow. The sponsors were not joking around logos flying up and down the whole place. I believe they got their money's worth though. <laughs> but on a serious note, product placement doesn't have to be so showy. It can be done subtly and tastefully. Anyway, I had a good laugh while watching this film and you probably would too. I'd have given Okafor's Law three jollofs but I can't quite shake off the predictable plot and the serious audio issues. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, I give Okafor's Law a 2.5 jollof rating. Go see it and form your opinion yourself and when you do, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, okay? It's the Delphinator here. Always great hanging with you guys. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and share. Until the next one, to-do's.